Since the dawn of mankind, the goal of protecting human life from harmful entities has been central to many of our endeavors. Therefore, the vaccine is one of the most revolutionary inventions to date, as it changed the face of medicine, allowing for the prevention of several fatal diseases. Before vaccines were invented, diseases like smallpox and measles ravaged the world. Major epidemics of smallpox struck China, Rome, and Greece between 49 and 312 AD, claiming up to a third of the affected populations. Inoculation, which involved scratching pus or powdered scabs from a lesion into the skin of the patient, was used by the Indians and the Chinese as early as 200 BC. However, as this practice involved full-strength samples of the disease, it was risky and ineffective. In the 17th and 18th centuries, Europe and America were plagued by several outbreaks of highly contagious diseases. Then, in 1718, the English Mary Montague introduced the West to inoculation with reports that the Turks were experiencing success with it. Smallpox continued to claim the lives of around 400,000 Europeans a year towards the late 18th century, with a mortality rate of 20 to 60 percent. However, newfound knowledge and rising desperation proved to be catalysts for the revolution that was just around the corner. In the 1770s, English scientist Edward Jenner heard a milkmaid boast that she would never contract smallpox, as she had already had cowpox, which had mild effects on humans. Inspired by this, in 1796, Jenner injected cowpox into an eight-year-old boy, and six weeks later infused the same boy's arm with smallpox. He observed that the boy was not affected by the disease, thereby pioneering the idea that the injection of disease samples that were dead, weakened from an alternate source were efficient in immunization. Although initially met with skepticism, Jenner's process, known as vaccination, became widely implemented. A law passed in 1853 made it mandatory for people in England and Wales, and several other nations followed suit. Soon, scientists developed other vaccinations, including one for rabies by Louis Pasteur in 1885 and one for measles in 1963. The eradication of the tyrannous smallpox was finally certified by the WHO in 1979. Vaccinations for new and currently incurable diseases continue to be developed. However, revolutions in the emerging fields of genetic engineering and stem cell research may well render them useless in the future. In the meanwhile though, several people are protected every day due to Jenner's work, which has been said to have saved more lives than the work of any other man.